good, my lord. I am weak. What did you say? Are you ready to admit your part? I have failed, my lord. Well, I will not fail mine. Procesus, stop! What are you doing? Getting a confession. Look at him. You'll get no confession from a dead man. Water, now. Unchain him. But we were given strict... Unchain him! forgotten where you are. This is Mamatine, the most secure prison in the world, and you are alone. One word from Nero and the entire might of the Roman Empire could be brought to bear on you. So why not cooperate? Tell us. Tell me. Why did you start the fires? to that which I did not do. Turn the city on its end. All the more reason to find these criminals. Agreed. But finding them will not ease the suffering of those who've been burned out. Or perhaps they'll find distraction in the games. The games. Yes, honor the games of your festival. Never mind the games. Where are your priorities? I would hear from Theodos. Honor, we have been working day and night, but there are still hundreds of families on the street. We simply do not have the resources to help everybody. That's enough. I cannot allow my people to be treated this way anymore. Redirect funds from the Aqueduct Project and take care of my people immediately. But Honor, respectfully, we need to keep the water project. I have made my decision. If you'd like to debate it, you can do so from the streets, where you will be personally working with these people side by side. Ah, <laughs> Martinian. What progress have we made? Forgive me. The Inquisitors were overly zealous with the old man, the Christian, Peter. Zealous? He is quite weak. And? Honor, he may die. Excuse me? He may die. I seem to recall giving the specific order that he may be beaten, burned, tortured, torn, twisted in whatever way that you deemed necessary. But I clearly remember that I did not want him to be killed. In fact, did I not forbid it? Yes, Honor. What am I to do with a dead man? 
It is my fault, Anna. He is their leader, and I do not want him dead. What we have now is houses burned, businesses lost, people in the streets homeless. So, what I demand is that every name of every Christian involved in starting these fires be given to me. He knows who they are. And you will give that to me. Yes, Honor. Husband, one of my servants is an excellent healer. You could send her to minister to this Peter. Bring her. What is your name? Susanna. And why is it I have not seen you before, Susanna? She is one of my personal servants. She has no reason to attend at court. Perhaps in the future I should do something to rectify that. Honor, we have them. Excellent. Martinian, stay for this. Who am I? Do you have a tongue? Yes, I am your emperor, and you are an arsonist, a man who likes to set fire to buildings. No, Honor, I do not know who would make these charges or why. I, I have not started any fires. You're calling me a liar? No, Honor. I understand that you have spent some time with the criminal Peter, the Christian. Yes, Honor. Since it's commonly known that the Christians are responsible for setting fire to my city, then you just admitted to being one of them. But... Uh, liar! Murder. Arsonist. I despise you, you people of faith. Now... Tell me about these fires. Please, Honor. I've never burned anything except a fire to eat my own, perhaps to cook. Silence! Do you have any idea how many people you've killed? Do you realize what you've done? You Christians, you're all one together like brothers and sisters, yes? Yes, Honor. Well, as I said, since we know that the Christians are responsible for burning down the city, then you just admitted to be an accessory. Please, Honor, I do not understand. We are nonviolent people. We just wish to raise our families, worship in peace. Don't say that word! Worship! If there is one thing I cannot tolerate, it's a liar. And the rest of them? Perhaps some time in Mamertine will get them thinking about their response in the future. Yes, Honor. Move along. Move. Move yourself. Move. Keep going. This is longer to the prison, but... 
more peaceful than city streets. Would you care to sit for a moment? Yes, thank you. I am sorry you had to witness that. There is a fine line between the civility of Rome and the violence of the men who would drag her to ruin. It doesn't bother you. I spent my career on the battlefields. The Gauls to the north, savages to the east. They live like beasts, slaughtering each other, sometimes even devouring their enemies. And you relished in that life? The Roman army is a line, the only line between all of this and savagery. But that man wasn't a savage. He was a Roman citizen. Worse than a savage. A citizen who turned against his country. And how can you be so certain? It is not mine to question. I leave that to the Emperor. Are you feeling well enough to walk? We should go. I apologize. These people are like animals. What have you done to him? How could you? You are the animals. Peter? Go, fetch me clean water. Are you deaf? Go and fetch me clean water. Now. What? Are you all right? Get out. Haven't you done enough damage? Now you wish to stay and gloat. I don't want you anywhere near him. Put down the lantern and leave. I'm the servant to the wife of the Emperor. I have been sent to tend to your wounds. children. I shall only be with you a little while longer, for where I am going, you cannot follow. But afterwards, you will follow me again. All of you will be made to stumble this night because of me. For it is written, I shall strike the shepherd and his sheep shall be scattered. But when I have risen, I will go before you to Galilee. Even if all others are made to stumble because of you, I will never be made to stumble. My Peter, I say this to you, that today, even this night, before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. If I have to die with you, I will not deny you.
You also were with Jesus of Galilee. I did not know what you were talking about. What could you have done? You were all alone. I could have done better. I should have done better. I do not understand. This Peter is a criminal. You are wrong. He is a good man. A holy man who carries the message of the teacher. Jesus of Nazareth. He has committed no crime. You should not treat him that way. I am a soldier of Rome, on orders from the emperor. And besides, what of those who died or were burned out? These Christians are criminals, and it is my duty to bring them to justice. Justice? What about the Christians who died in the fires? Why would Peter do that? Why was he arrested? Have you even asked yourself that question? A soldier of Rome. You should be ashamed of yourself. Here's the girl to make her report. Ah, Susanna. Do you like the harp? Yes. You play beautifully, Honor. Perhaps I can give you some lessons. Husband, Susanna must leave for the prison to tend to Peter. Yes, she's tending to my instructions. But right now, I need to deal with Theodos, who has been waiting very patiently. So, what of the council? Honor, there, there is much talk at the council. Isn't that what councils do? Talk about what? Perhaps it would be better to discuss these matters in private. Perhaps it would be better for you not to keep me waiting. Of course. <clears throat> Honor, uh, Carcinian hints that the fires were not set by the Christians. Yes, he entertains another theory. He circulates the idea that the fires were ordered by yourself. By myself? <laughs> now, you see the ability of these Christians even to twist the minds of our good counselors. Oh, these Christians, they could be the downfall of the Empire. But I will not allow this to continue. They say they represent a god. And that god has attacked my city and killed my people. So now I will become the chief enemy of that god. I alone will be the protector of Rome. I've had enough of this hypocrisy. And as for you, young lady, what have you about Peter? Your Honor, he is very weak. I fear another beating will kill him. I blame these Christians for all of this evil that has befallen upon Rome. I hereby decree that from this day forward, Anyone calling themselves a Christian will be under arrest. And you, Captain Martinian, will be in charge of their inquisition. And Peter? I want him kept alive. I still will have some use for him. Perhaps his tongue will loosen when he sees what befalls upon his flock. You'll be sure, Susanna, that he returns to good health, yes? Yes, Honor. Excellent. I want his full confession before the festival begins. So that the Deus Imperi 
can mark the renewal of Rome. city of Rome, and they're hereby under arrest. You realize this is for you. Please, I'll do anything you say. Will you come to Put compassion in the hearts of our tormentors. Let them see thy truth, thy wisdom, thy light. Strengthen us in our weakness. Deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom. For now and forever. nothing to be done. The Emperor has decreed that all Christians are to be arrested. Not another sound from you. We have four confessions. Show me a man who will not confess when faced with our methods. Something is wrong? I did not join the army to persecute Roman citizens. I joined to protect uh, them. Brother, we joined the army to protect Rome. We both bled for her. I almost died for her. And these people? They are the enemies of Rome. Listen, sis, look at them. Fathers, mothers, even children. Tell me how they qualify as enemies. You know as well as I. Orders are determined by the Emperor. It is our job to follow them. There may be another way. Martini. Listen, do you hear that, old man? God hears that. No, he may. You can stop it. All of it. You can put an end to their misery. What do you want me to do? Susanna! It really is a beautiful day, isn't it? I know this must all seem overwhelming. But the truth is, we must get to the root of this evil. You're living in the palace, you've not been exposed to the How violence. would you know what I've been exposed to? I was only suggesting that... Please, do not presume to know what I do and do not understand. All I was trying to say was, I have a plan. One that may save many Romans from... Plan based on a lie. A lie that may save many lives. At what cost? I do not understand you. We are both servants of Rome. Peter walked with Jesus. He was the leader of his apostles. Have you not heard a word he has said? Why would I even listen? 
Perhaps if you did, you would understand. Don't. Since you know me so well, you also know I am quite capable of finding my own way back. Where's Susanna? Honor, perhaps she's gone to attend to your wife. I see. Honor, what if I were to convince Peter to confess to the fires? Would that end the persecution of the Christians? Your heart has moved towards their direction. Do you disagree with my current methodology? No, Honor. There is much work to be done. And this is a distraction to my men. Your advice is wise. Achieve it, and I will spare them. But only if the old man confesses. I relish the idea of him begging for mercy. <laughs> One more thing. All of them must deny this cult of Jesus as an abomination against the gods of Rome. Only then will I spare them. Honor. And if he does not do it, have him flogged. Forgive me, Honor. But you said you did not want him to die. Hmm. Oh. Use your imagination. Come up with something. Susanna? Yes, mistress. Put down that broom. Come here. You are an excellent servant. And very beautiful as well. Susanna, this is a man's world. We women, we must stick together, no matter our position in life. Do you understand? Yes, mistress. As you know, my husband, the emperor, he is subject to various moods. In the past, from time to time, he has been known to bother the women servants. Has anything like this befallen you? No, mistress. Are you certain? You can tell me if it has. No, mistress, never. Good. But you must promise to let me know if anything happens. Yes, mistress. Very well. Back to work. The emperor commands that in addition to confessing to the fires, you must also deny the Christ. I will not deny my lord. Deny him, and you will all be spared. No. Begin.
Susanna, what are you doing? Just preparing bandages for the old man. And the food? In case I am not able to return for lunch. You spend entirely too much time at that prison. I do not know that I like it. If you wish, I will ask the Emperor to have... No. No. Continue as ordered. But return here as quickly as you can. I ask not for myself, Lord, but that you give me the boldness of the words to preach thy word. But thy will be done, O Lord. Amen. Good morning. Good morning. I see you are feeling better. You are improving. I am. I am. Why are you not... How do you deal with this? I remember him. Arms for the poor. Arms for the poor. Arms for the poor. Sir, can you help the poor? I do not have any silver or gold for you. Please, sir, take pity. My brother is crippled, and he cannot walk. I will give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene, get up and walk. was the Holy Spirit working through me. You are so blessed to have spent time with him. Yes, I was. And I am blessed by your visits as well. Better go now. Must rest. Oh. Rest will make you strong again. Rest and the healing power of the word. Bless you. I do not hate you. I am angry at you for what you have done to a great man like Peter. No, you are mistaken. Nero is a great man. This, this Peter, he's a foolish old storyteller. You have been gone from Rome too long. Our emperor is a vicious man who loves no one but himself. At times he acts as if he is a god. He climbed to power on the murder of his mother and his first wife. He is the most dangerous man in the civilized world. How do you know this? I am a servant of his wife. I hear everything that happens in the palace. No. I don't believe you. In fact, I might suspect that you are a Christian yourself. I could have you arrested. Go ahead. I am a Christian. But know this. Nothing about who I am changes who Nero is. Susanna. In a secret. You're safe with me. Honor. Heronius has replied. He looks forward to your games and will bring five chariots to compete in your races.
Honor? Ah, Theodos. The festival is upon us. I think I need to do something to increase the pressure on the Christians. I'm... I'm sorry. I think I'm going to start executing some of them. Not too many, just a few as an example to the rest. But it's got to be something... What do you think of wild dogs? But Honor, Rome has not done anything. Theodos, I am Rome. Rome will do as I wish. These Christians, they are an extreme and dangerous cult. They are a threat to Rome. Now leave me while I think on this. Wait. Do you think the palace is too dark? Too dark, Honor? At night. Do you think it's too dark? I'm trying to find a way to create some light in my gardens so I can see the beauty I've created. I think... Yes. I think we should start burning some of the Christians so I can have some light for my garden. Burning Christians? But honor, they are just people who want Theodos. to... Theodos. Just a few. At night. For the light. Theodos, go now and make it so. Jesus said to me, Peter, you are the rock, the rock on which I shall build my church. And yet, what have I done to his flock? I fail them, and I fail him. That is not true. You bring inspiration, even while you are here. You give hope to me, to others, through your stories and through your faith. And a little child shall lead them. Thank you. Now, and if you can, bring me some parchment. I need to write. Of course. <sighs> Susanna. How is Peter today? He is sad because of the pain that he brings to the others. I have never seen a faith such as his. And he's old and weak. Yet somehow the stories he tells they give him strength. Yes. I've seen no evidence that he, nor any of them, are any threat to Rome. In fact, I would say the opposite. If all men were to speak and act as he does, I believe Rome would be a better place. Faith is a strange thing. It inspires even the most hardened to open their eyes, lift their hearts do the right thing, even to love. I must attend to my duties. Thank you.
You must leave before the guards return. There is little time. This is your chance to save yourself. Things are possible for you. Please take this cup from me. Nevertheless, not what I will, but what you will. to die. What will become of us if you are gone? This is the road I must walk. You were in prison once before and escaped. I have heard stories. And the stories are true. When I escaped from Herod's prison, it it was not an act of man or of woman. It was an act of God. I was chained between two guards. And the Lord sent an angel who freed me and opened the gate and led me out. It was not I that escaped. It was God making manifest his will. Besides, I have seen those looks that you exchange with Captain Martinian. Now, if I were to escape, can you imagine what Nero would do to these poor jailers? No, my child. I will put my trust in the Lord, as should you. So, my dear, nothing to report of my husband. No, mistress, nothing. Things are not well between us. I am afraid he is having another affair. I do not know what I'm going to do. I'm so sorry, mistress. He has not spoken or bothered you? No, mistress. Good. Good. 
Last night on the balcony, I noticed you were very emotional. Was that prompted by the music? Or perhaps by the fate of your fellow believers? Mistress? Come, come. We both know you're one of them. Friends cannot keep secrets from one another. I used to see you praying all the time. After all, it was never illegal to be a Christian in Rome. That is, until recently. It is safe here. Speak openly. I do not know what to say. Have you committed any crime? No. No, mistress. Then speak. No harm will come to you. Yes, mistress. Yes what? Yes. I was upset at the burning. Of course you were. What a horrid affair. I know not why my husband is taken with such hatred toward you people. Prison, torture. Mistress. Speak. Do you think you could speak with him? The Emperor, I mean. Ask him to reconsider about the old man. About Peter. Why, oh, yes, my dear. Let me find the right moment to ply his ear. Have you lost your mind? What are you talking about? With Peter, trying to aid in his escape. Persisus was just down the hall. He heard everything. You're lucky he came to me first. Why doesn't he turn me in? Because he is my friend. Perhaps my only friend. That is no reason. Because he knows how I feel towards you. Please, I cannot let him die in there. I understand, but there is nothing to be done. What is it? I spoke to Papea. Why? I believe I can trust her. What if she turns you in? I am sorry, but I had to do something. I must return. Tiberius. Captain Martinian. You care about these prisoners. You presume too much, old man. Oh, I have lived a long enough life to recognize concern when I see it. Now you know it is for these prisoners, and not for my duties. I was once a young man. You were with Jesus of Nazareth. I do not know the man. I'm certain I saw you with him. I do not know him. I have spent the rest of my life trying to rise above that moment. For what profit a man that he gain the whole world yet lose his soul? Something is troubling you. Susanna. She takes great risks on your behalf. I have seen the looks that pass between the two of you. I'm concerned for her safety. And nothing else. She is enamored with the rabbi you speak of. And you are not. Mm. It is hard to walk together when you travel on different paths. I would like you to look at these words. They were inspired by him. You may find them useful. Thank you. 
I'll be with you, Captain. Husband? My husband. What troubles weigh on you? The Jew. You mean Peter? And the Senate. Closer to an accordance that these Christians started these fires. You know, there are those who would have you release him. Traitors. Who are they? No one specifically. But I hear talk in the marketplace, in the streets, even here in the palace. They say he is. A wise and honest man who never speaks against Rome. That he talks only about... Jesus. Another rabbi crucified years ago. They say he is a holy man who would not harm anyone. But I suggest otherwise. I suggest you further increase the pressure on him. And on all of the Christians. And how do you suggest I do that? Kill them. Kill them all. Perhaps that will gain his confession. If not, you eliminate the root of the problem. Eliminate it in a very public way. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, I have not love. 
I am nothing. And though I understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I may remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. How do you know these words? They are the words of Paul. Paul. Oh. Love believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love, love never, never fails. fails. They are so beautiful. But how do you know them? Given to me by Peter. But clearly meant for you. find you in good spirits. Honor. You've grown fond of him. I'm sorry, Honor. You think I don't know about your conversations? I have ears everywhere. Even in Mamertine. It's natural. When you spend so much time with someone, you grow close. I understand. And he is a very compelling storyteller. Oh, come on. Peter, the rabbi, your friend. I know you talk to him. Come. Neil. could find a way that I might consider clemency for your friend. Honor your wife? Yes, she's at the market with her staff. Eyes up, girl. That's better. So do you want clemency for your friend? I'd like to consider your wishes, but of course it would require that you spend far more time in my service, so to speak. Does the idea of that to you sound appealing? Thank you for your words. Oh, they were not my words. They were the words of a friend. 
。哦。嗯。How do you know? How do you really know that this Jesus was who he said he was? I know that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and my Redeemer because I saw him after he died. They crucified him and he rose again. And I sat with him, I talked with him, I even ate with him. I, I do not understand. I am blessed because I saw the Christ risen. How much more blessed are they who did not see and yet believe? Ah, oh, Susanna. <laughs> Come, come. A question. Do you think me a fool? I'm sorry, Honor. In the realm of politics and power and rulers and subjects, deception and deceit, I find it fascinating how they all work together, don't you? Although. History has taught us that when a ruler does not deal swiftly with his subjects about deception, quite often he can find himself on the wrong end of the delicate balance of his power, and that's not good, is it? So I ask you again. Do you think me a fool? No, Honor. Yet you treat me as one. No, Honor. Am I given to understand that you are much more than just good friends with this Peter? In fact, you have become one of these followers. You have become a Christian. Yet when we last spoke, you failed to mention this to me. Is that any way to respect your emperor? Answer me! Mistress. Please. Done nothing wrong. My heart belongs to another. Please. Look at me. Are you a Christian? What is it that you want from me? Admitted to being a Christian. Susanna. Nero has ordered the execution of all the Christians, including Peter, tomorrow. No. No, I will not hear it. Release her immediately. The orders come straight from Nero. It'll be my head if I let her go. I will not allow. Mordinian. It is not his fault. The emperor asked me if I was a Christian and I could not deny my faith. 
There is nothing to be done. No, we will see. Martinian! Lock her up. Martinian, out of my way, Captain. Forgive the intrusion, Arn. Yes, Captain. Perhaps you've brought me a confession. Honor, I have come to ask about your servant girl, Susanna. Ah, yes, no doubt she's in Mamertine. Pretty little flower. Perhaps there's been some mistake, no? I don't believe so. Honor, she is a harmless servant girl. How is it that she is in prison? She's a Christian. That makes her a criminal. Ah, do I sense something more than a dutiful question, Captain? I, I only wish that you would consider. Of course, I offered her a way around these charges. A way, shall we say, shouldn't be discussed amongst polite company or open court. She refused. It is only now that I understand what she meant when she said her heart belonged to another. I appeal. To your compassion. No, you cannot, Captain. The law is the law. Who am I to change my own edicts? <laughs> You're a passionate man. I like that. May I counsel you that you shouldn't throw away your entire career over some pretty little Christian servant girl who is pleasing to the eye? Madam, she is your faithful servant. Surely you would not let her die for such a pointless offense. You mistake my wife's loyalty, Captain. In fact, it was my wife who told me of this servant's treachery. My love, do you wish this girl to be back in your service? No, husband. Ah, well, it's decided then. Now, Captain, I have some orders for you. Tomorrow, you will personally be in charge of the execution of Peter and all the Christians in prison. Won't this be a wonderful way to start off the greatest banquet ever? You are dismissed. No, Honor. I cannot carry out those orders. You realize if you disobey me, it is treason. I do. Then you will obey. Forgive me honor but i cannot carry out your orders and i cannot have a traitor in my army i warn you for the last time captain if you disobey me you will die with the rest of them so be it get this man out of my sight This is not wise. I mean, mixing him in with the Christians. How can you execute them if Martinian, one of your most trusted officers, stands with them? How will this look to the council, to the Senate? Forget the Senate. He will come back around. She's right, Honor. This will not give the appearance of strength. Martinian is a professional soldier. He has always been a soldier of Rome. He has been a personal soldier for me in my army. All he has ever known is to be of service to me. He simply got his head turned around by a pretty little girl. He will be fine. What if he is not? You cannot execute him. Or the girl for that matter. She lived here with you in the palace. How will it look if your own staff rebel? All I'm saying is, we do not want to make martyrs of these people. He will not disobey me. He cannot disobey me. I am his emperor, the ruler of Rome. Peace. Let's talk about this. 
You've been talking all the way here, but you have not. You think about what you're doing. You think about your career. I believe this has gone beyond career, my friend. No, it hasn't. We spent our lives defending the Empire. Why throw that away? Over what? Over what? Over truth? Over honesty? Over freedom? The whims of one man will not dictate the course of this world. No. He is wrong. I know it. And somewhere in there, you know it as well. What is going on here? Martini has disobeyed the Emperor. He's been ordered to be executed with you lot in the morning. No. No, that can't be true. I was ordered to execute you. All of you. But I refused. I will not be a part of something that brings you harm. There must be some way. I'm afraid not, miss. Not unless you're willing to recant. Do not ask that of her. And I'm sorry. There is no other choice. If Susanna and Peter are criminals, then so am I. It is their last night I would spend it with them. Unlock the doors and leave us. I give you my word, I will not aid in an escape. It's not your fault. I never expected. No. Well, you were right. The Emperor is a madman. I cannot believe Rome has fallen to this. None of it. None of this was necessary. How can you have such faith when surrounded by all of this? Because I believe. And you are certain. I put my trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. I baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please, I cannot do this. 
I deny him. I deny my faith. I'm sorry. I deny. Anyone else? Please, I'm sorry. I recant. Please, just Free let me go. Witness. No, Peter! Go! Rest it! Good Heronius, five chariots you spared no expense. Mm. So happy you could join me for the pre festivities. Truly, my very great pleasure, Honor. Who is this Peter I'm hearing about? One of the leaders of this cult. I understand this movement is growing. Do you really intend to execute him? Not if he recants the errors of his ways. And if he fails to do so? He will not. How did they escape? I let them go. You what? Martinian was faithful to Rome. To you. He did nothing wrong. Nothing. Except... <laughs> Now, <laughs> you will be with the Lord in heaven tonight. Get him up! <sighs> Old man, it seems as though your way has spread like a poison amongst your people. What do you say? I bring no poison. I bring a message of faith. Well, then your faith has led your people to become enemies of Rome. You know that is not true. Do you dare presume... Sir, those are Roman citizens that you persecute. They have committed no crimes, and yet you arrest them and imprison them and torture them. I say they're criminals, and therefore they are criminals. So mind your tongue and answer my charge. I came to Rome to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. It is a message of love and forgiveness and redemption. It is for all men and all women, even for you. <laughs> Did you all hear that? Even for me. 
You have the audacity to suggest that I need forgiveness. For what? And from whom? A dead carpenter. He is not dead. He is risen. Christ is risen. And he sits at the right hand of God. Blasphemy! There is no name above Nero. This is my empire. I am the god of Rome. You are the emperor of Rome. But you are no god. You are a man. Enough! Today is my feast. And even you, a heretic, could receive a pardon. All you have to do is confess your crimes, admit to your heresy, and renounce your faith. Then, I will set you free. The truth has set me free. Let it set you free. I offer you the gift of salvation. Even your Jesus could not save you, not here, not today. If you want to find freedom, you will have to find it through me. All flesh is as grass. All glory is as a flower. The grass withers, the flower falls away. But the word of the Lord will endure forever. You realize you will not die quickly like that dog. You will be crucified. I will not fail you this time, Lord. If I am to be crucified, I beg a favor. That I may be crucified upside down. For I am not worthy to die in the same manner as my Lord. I will grant your request, as I am a merciful man. Always good to have a little variety. Yeah. <laughs> 